Welcome back to Sparks of Joy Studio. This is Natalie, and today I will be showing you 13 upcycled baskets. For our first project, I have this blue and brown basket that I thrifted a couple months back, and I started by trying to paint it with Woodwick by Fusion, but the bleed through was so much so that I didn't think this was going to be um, a good way to go. So now I'm trying some linen white by Cottage Color, or it's a Cottage Color by DIY Paint. And again, I painted up everything, but there was, it was still coming on so thin and the blue was coming through so much so that I knew I needed to come up with a different plan. I somehow didn't get this on camera, but I ended up taking this basket outside and spraying it with Rust-Oleum's primer, a spray paint in a flat gray. I let that spray paint dry overnight, and the next day I came in with some white wax, and I waxed the entire basket on the outside of the basket. For the final step, I took a custom blend of rose water and white um, mineral paint. Rose water is by Fusion, and I am just painting the rim and the handle on the basket in this beautiful pink color. For our next project, I have this little basket that I had gotten at the thrift store for about 60 cents. And it originally had these foam vegetables uh, glued onto it. So I had to pry off that, all of those vegetables. And then I'm coming in with some walnut stain. And this is by Folk Art. And I am just staining the entire basket. There's a party in the backyard that's your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are all This is where those foam vegetables were. I knew I needed to do something to mask this. So I decided to cut up some drop cloth and find a way to cover up that spot. I'm measuring out how much of this drop cloth I need to trim so that I can have it fit right across that front part of the basket. Once that was cut to the size that I needed, I used a 220 grit sandpaper to um, fray the edges all over this little label that we're gonna be adding to the front of the basket. Now I'm coming in with an IUD stamp um, of a butterfly. I believe this is from the newest pastiche stamp set. And I'm gonna be stamping that right in the middle of our little drop cloth label. Once that's done, I just made sure that everything measured out well and now I'm going to come in with some hot glue and I'm hot gluing that drop cloth to the front of the basket to hide where that old glue was. Thank you. 
For our next project, I have this huge basket that actually used to be um, a drawer on one of my, um, it was, I guess, a TV stand that I had um, in my old house. And I had saved the baskets, got rid of the rest of the furniture. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out the best way to upcycle this to a color that I like now. So I'm gonna be using some Sterling by Fusion and I'm going to be watering it down a bit just so that there's a no like gloops or globs of paint that end up in those crevices. I gave this basket two nice coats of this sterling paint and I was done. No need to seal or anything else. For our next project, I have this oval basket that I got at the thrift store for less than $2. And we are gonna start by painting just the base of this in Damask by Fusion. Kept running in the woods alone Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Try to keep it up why don't you stay, stay, cause I can really use a friend Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I can Once that was dry, I came back in with Cast Iron by Fusion and I'm covering the entire basket on the outside and rim. I'm trying to make it up for my mistakes but everywhere I turn, some hearts will break. Something, someone will end up getting hurt again. I then decided to go ahead and paint the inside of the basket too in the same cast iron color. Once that was done, I took a 220 grit sandpaper and very lightly sanded the entire basket around the edges of each of those strips and on the rim, just to have it look a little bit more aged and distressed. And we are done. Here's a look at that finished basket. Why don't you stay? For this next project, I have this basket that I picked up at I think it was from Goodwill um, and I am going to be painting it with Lichen by Fusion. One thing I do want to mention is that I, as I'm doing all of these projects, all of these baskets, I cannot be more impressed with how well Fusion works at painting baskets. I've heard a lot of other creators 
talk about how it's very difficult to paint baskets, which I don't disagree, um, but I do think that the fusion paint allows it to be so much easier. So um, this is definitely my go-to paint for this type of project. I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture Once that paint was dry, I'm coming back in with some white wax and I'm going to be covering the entire outside of the basket with that white wax, rubbing it all on, letting it sit for about 15 minutes and then wiping it back. Try to let her go because she won't be mine. I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before. But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. But she will never know, na na, never know, na na. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did. Our next project is super easy. Um, this is a basket I thrifted that was already painted white, but it was a glossy white. And I was not a fan of how it was. It had already started chipping a little bit. So all I did was I grabbed some Rust-Oleum white spray paint in a flat finish, and I'm just giving it a quick spray. And this is done. That is all I did to this basket to upcycle it. Next, I have this a little basket you see in the corner there that is that was actually in my house when we moved here, and I just had it sitting around, um, you know, holding on to different things, I guess. And I, as I was doing this, putting together this entire video, I grabbed it and I decided to paint it as well. So I am using a mix between oakum and I believe parchment, and we're going to be making a light brownish gray color. You never know. I painted the outside and I believe the inside of this basket in that color. Now I'm coming in with some air dry clay and one of the labels from the apothecary label set and I am going to be stamping using the stamp to um, and put an impression of this label into the clay. Now I'm just going to be trimming off the excess with my little plastic blade that I have. Now 
Now I'm coming in with the letters SLP from the same apothecary stamp set and I'm going to be putting that same impression of those letters into that label. And if you're not, if you aren't sure what SLP stands for, it is speech language pathologist. And if you didn't know, that is what I do Monday through Friday. I'm a school-based speech language pathologist and a very proud one at that. I glued that label onto the front of the basket and now I'm coming in with some DIY paint in the color crinoline and I'm going to be painting the entire outside of the basket. Once that was done, I let it dry and then I came back distressed back um, just around the edges so I could pull back some of that oakum that was underneath or the custom color with oakum. And then I sealed it up and I did do a dark wax to bring out some of those details. And here is a look at that finished project. This gave me an idea to make a, another gift basket, which you'll be seeing coming up shortly. Um, if you are not aware, Teacher Appreciation Week is always at the beginning of May. So around this time of year, I start thinking about some gifts that I'm gonna be preparing for my kids' teachers. So I got this awesome tiny little basket for less than a dollar and I'm trying to clean up that grease pencil that was on the basket. It is not working so I already know I'm going to have to paint that top part of the basket. I started painting it with a white uh, paint. I believe this is Endless Shore by uh, Dixie Belle. I wasn't really liking how that looked, so I decided to come back in with a blend of Bayberry by Fusion mixed with a um, a white, one of the white colors of Fusion. I'm a thinking it was probably a parchment, but I could be wrong. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do the entire rim of that basket as well as the handle in this beautiful green color. Now for the embellishment. I am using this IOD mold. I believe this is Dainty Flourishes. Um, and I'm going to be using the label in the middle of that mold to create a label for our basket. As I'm working this clay into the mold, I'm able to pull down and pull um, off the excess of clay that I have because there is a micro rim at the end of each of the molds, which makes it so easy to be able to create like the perfect impression, the perfect mold. Um, I really do like IOD molds for this reason. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be doing the same stamp like impression um, into this label, very similar to what we just did in the last project, but I'm going to be stamping my son's teacher's last name. When I reach out, you will hold on. Was it a rainbow falling? Was it a rainbow falling? When I touch you, it will break through. Was it a rainbow falling? Was it a rainbow falling? Oh, was it a rainbow falling? Now I'm going to be painting the label and the strip around the back of where the label is, right in the middle of that basket, in Vintage Linen by DIY. It's true. And I'm For our next set of baskets, I wanted to try a bleaching technique. I had gotten these gorgeous uh, baskets, like the wall, the ones that can hang on the wall, and they were the set of two was less than three dollars. And I wanted to see how if we could bring back some of that color. They just they were a little bit too dark for my taste, and I thought about saving them for the fall and trying to do something then. But I figured even if I bleached it back a bit the colors would still be able to be used year round. So I filled up a bucket with warm water and added um, a good amount of bleach and then stuck some rocks inside of the baskets to kind of hold them down so they would stay under the water. I waited about, I would say 40 minutes and when I pulled them out, the baskets didn't look any, um, any more bleached so I was like okay let me try this again with something different so I grabbed another basket and then when I got back to my original baskets I noticed that as they dried they actually came out much lighter so I wanted to give you um, a little visual of this look how much lighter this is coming back as it's drying I really thought I had completely ruined this project and it wasn't going to work for me but it ended up working beautifully i didn't want to do anything more to these baskets because i was so excited about how the bleaching technique worked for me I was so excited I ended up taking two more baskets that I had similar to that big square one that you had seen earlier in this video and I decided to bleach them in different ways. This first one I did 
Um, I, I only bleached half of it. So I turned it upside down and I only bleached up until where that water line went and I left the bottom as is. And on the second one, I only had to stick it in the bleached water for about five minutes and it um, dulled it down just slightly, but I really like it better than the dark espresso color that it was. Next we have this pretty large basket that I found. I really liked it. Um, I love how it looks like um, sticks all around it. One thing I was not a huge fan of was the kind of shimmery color that was on the finish of, the, of both the bottom as well as the rim of the basket. I started by taking some watered down cashmere and painting the base of the basket on the inside and outside. Then I took some Bayberry by Fusion and I'm painting the rim of the basket in this color. I quickly decided as I was painting this rim that it was going to be way too difficult to paint the just the rim and not have it accidentally get onto where the cashmere was or when I tried to go back and clean up the cashmere that I wouldn't get it back onto the Bayberry. So once this was all done, I went back and decided to just paint the entire outside of the basket in the Bayberry color. Then I came in with some white wax and I'm going to put some white wax all over where the bayberry was. And this muted it down um, to a beautiful spring green. I really liked how this basket turned out in the end. For our last project today, I have this gorgeous basket that I picked up at the Goodwill for $4. Um, it's a little pricier than I paid for any of the other baskets, but I was okay with it because I loved the style and the shape of this basket. All I'm going to do to this one is paint the rim and the handles of the basket in casement by Fusion.
Now I'm gonna finish up by um, putting white wax all over the entire basket, on the rim, the handles, and all over the base of the basket. But now I need to get some rest. Nevertheless, a caress, so let me give you a part of myself, she said. And here's a look at our final project. I really hope you've enjoyed this weekend's very special compilation of projects. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos where I focus on just one item or one style. Um, I would really like to have some feedback so I know what you would like to see more of. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon. Why is it rain?